Are you tired of feeling stuck? Like you're not achieving anything? Do you feel like you're stuck on the couch and unable to break free from your inertia? Well, in the fourth chapter of Darren Hardy's book, The Compound Effect, he talks about the power of momentum, or as he calls it, Big Mo. We all know the law of motion that objects in motion tend to stay in motion while objects at rest tend to stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. Applying this to our own daily lives, that means that if you're a couch potato, you're most likely going to just stay a couch potato while the achievers out there are going to just keep achieving more and more and more. There is momentum within our own lives. So with the nature of momentum, if you're at rest, the hardest part is getting started. Just like if you're sitting on a merry-go-round, getting it going from rest is going to be so, so hard. You have to push and push and push to just get it to start spinning. But once you get it started spinning and it starts going faster and faster and faster, you get swept up in it with that momentum. And now all of a sudden you're going super fast. So how do you get Big Mo on your side? You basically have to do all of the things we've already been talking about in this series. You have to start making new healthy choices based on your goals and your core values. Then put those choices into action by building these new healthy positive habits. Then repeat those healthy actions over a long enough period of time to make them into a habit. Build those habits into your daily routine to build a disciplined day and repeat all of those long enough over a long enough period of time to start seeing that compounded result. So relating this back to that merry-go-round analogy, making those healthy choices is you just walking up to that merry-go-round and then taking those choices and putting them into action. That's you just starting to push the merry-go-round. It's going to be tough, it's gonna to be heavy, it's not gonna move that much right away. But then as you do them more often, building them into habits, now the merry-go-round is starting to actually turn. Build that over a long period of time, repeat it over and over again, then the merry-go-round's gonna start spinning, it's gonna go, and the longer you do it, the more disciplined and consistent you stick with pushing that merry-go-round doing your habits, the merry-go-round is then going to start and practically spin on its own. The power of routine is crucial to set yourself up for success. Every single highly successful person has a routine that they swear by. Go and look at YouTube videos and interviews. Everyone has one. Hardy talks about in the book how he likes to bookend his days with routines, which is similar to how I describe anchoring my days, how I like to have a morning routine and an evening routine to anchor me in to maintaining those healthy habits throughout the day. Hardy likes to talk about how he has the morning routine so that he can set himself up for success for his day and then an evening routine so that no matter what chaos happened in the middle of the day, things that he can't control, he then has something that he can rely on at the end of the day to kind of decompress, wind down, and get ready for the next day. Now, before I dive into what his morning and evening routine is, just bear with me as we hear a word from today's sponsor. If you're looking for a jacket that combines style and functionality, look no further than Ikaz jackets. Their jackets are designed with the latest fashion trends in mind, but without compromising on that performance. With a wide range of styles to choose from, a Kaz Jackets is going to have something for everyone. From some more of the classic designs to a bit more trendy options, their collection has a style for any occasion. I love how versatile these jackets are. I can either dress them up or down depending on my mood or the event that I'm attending, but do not be fooled by the stylish exterior. These jackets also perform exceptionally well. They are designed to be both wind resistant and waterproof, I can attest to both, so you can stay warm and dry in any weather condition. This blue one has become my spring go-to when I don't know if it's going to be too warm or too hot for my other jackets. And this white and black one really got me through the harsh New York City winter winds. I constantly get so many compliments on them whenever I wear them out. So if you're looking for a new jacket for the season, check them out in the link below. Overall, I highly recommend the Kaz jackets to anyone looking for a stylish and practical jacket for the spring season. With their wide variety of styles and excellent performance, you can't go wrong. Okay, now let's dive into what his morning routine is, which he based off 
all of these other very successful people that he has worked with throughout his life. He says that in the morning he wakes up at 5 a.m. and hits the snooze button for eight minutes. Very realistic, I love that. <laughs> but during those eight minutes, he thinks about everything that he is grateful for and sends love to someone and then thinks about his number one goal for the day. So let's think about just that for a moment. He sets himself up right first in the morning of being grateful for things, sending love out to someone, being grateful, sending out love, and then focus in on the goal. That's a great way to start the day because that initial mindset is going to set the tone for the rest of your day. Now let's see what he does after that. So while he is brewing coffee, he stretches, which something we should all probably do more of is stretching. And since you're already sitting waiting for coffee, that's going to give you that jolt to get going in the morning, you might as well be using that time that you're waiting around to stretch. While he's brewing the coffee, he's also listening to a motivating podcast, which he says that he listens to his own motivating podcast, which I do think is kind of funny, but like we said in the previous videos, listen to whatever podcast you like. Personally, I have my own set of podcasts that I like listening to. They're not all necessarily strictly motivating, but they're about topics that I find fascinating, which that I find motivating. He then reads something instructive for 30 minutes. So maybe a self-help book, maybe a book like The Compound Effect. And then he works on his most important project for 90 minutes. We're barely starting into the day and you've already committed 90 minutes to that most important project before anything else can distract you. Notice how he hasn't even opened his emails yet. I don't know how he does that. I open my emails like right away. It's a bad habit of mine. Maybe I should stop doing that. He then has what he calls his calibration appointment. This is an appointment that he literally puts on his calendar. It's just with himself. And it's where he sits down and looks at his top three one year and five year goals, his quarterly objectives and his top goals for the week and for the month. So already every single day, he is checking back in with what those big goals are and breaking them down into more tangible bite-sized pieces so that he can make sure that every single day he is staying on top of working towards that big giant goal. Lastly, he sets his top three most important objectives for the day and then he opens his email. Impressive, I will say. I did try this for a day. Um, I can't wake up at 5 a.m. Bless him, I cannot wake up at 5 a.m. Now, I do have my own morning routine. It's not quite exactly this and yours does not need to be exactly this. This works for him, but I think it's a great example to take pieces from. Use it as maybe a beginning structure framework that you can pull from, but then put in the pieces that work for you. Maybe you don't even do coffee. Maybe instead of just strictly stretching, you do a yoga flow. Whatever it is, work in those pieces that work for you, but I do think that there are some good pieces of value to be gained from that. Most importantly, set up a morning routine. I will in the next couple of weeks be coming out with a video of my updated morning routine. So when that's out, it'll be linked here and definitely go and check that out. Now let's talk about his evening routine. So like I said before, whatever happens during the day, you might not be able to necessarily control it. It could be hectic. It could go completely to plan. Who knows? Either way, end of the day, you know you have something to fall back on to just reset your evening. He calls this cashing out, which he learned from waiting restaurants. At the end of the day, if you're a server, you have to cash out. You have to take all of your, take inventory of all of those tips, all of the receipts, make sure all of your tables are closed out, and then you see what you made for the day. His adaptation of this is just taking in how his day went. He looks at his to-do list, crosses off things that are already done, moves things that didn't get done to do tomorrow, and also crosses off things that just aren't relevant anymore that maybe, you know, thought he needed to do, but now is like, you know what, I don't actually really need to do that. He then also takes a moment to write down any new ideas or inspired thoughts that he had throughout the day, keeps those all written down. That's how he was able to create and write books like this, and then reads 10 pages of an inspirational book before he goes to bed. Notice that not only does he bookend his days with routine, but he also bookend, bookends his day with reading. I think that's a great way of both starting and ending your day. Now, in order to build that momentum that we want, that's going to help push us forward and make it as we go forward, seemingly easier and easier to build 
build those achievements and achieve more and more. In order to build that momentum, we have to stick to our routines and we have to stick to them consistently. Best way to do this is keep track of your habits. Build a habit tracker. This is going to help you stay accountable. So build out all of those different habits and record how frequently you stick to them. There are many different ways for you to do this. I have tried many, many different ways. If you watch my 50 day challenge, you would notice that I actually kept track of all of my habits with a habit tracker on the side of every video. But that was just me recording what I had already recorded throughout those weeks. The way that I kept track of those habits were a couple different ways. One, I have been using this Clever Fox planner for almost a year now. I absolutely love it. It has both the month spreads as well as the week spreads. And if you notice over here, the week spread even has a section to keep track of your habits and skills. Great thing about this as well is that after every month, there is a monthly review that allows you to reflect on how that month went and where your strengths were and where you maybe were lacking. And then after every three months, there's a three month goal setter. So it's going to help you really check in with yourself on not only how are you doing week by week, month by month, but then every three months, it breaks down those goals into smaller, smaller pieces, making things a lot easier to actually attain. I have a link to this. I will put it down below if that is something that works for you. You can also use an app called Habit. I use that on my phone. It's great. It's free to a certain number of habits and each day it'll keep track of which habits you're stuck to and it'll give you data on how frequently you're actually sticking to those habits. Or if you want, you can also just create your own habit tracker like this for yourself to really keep track of exactly what it is you're trying to stay consistent to and you can design it exactly the way that works for you and your special brain. Whatever is going to work for you, stick to it. Pick it and stick to it because consistency is the biggest ingredient to getting big mo, that momentum working in your favor. Think of it like a water pump. This is an example that Hardy uses in the book. Getting water to pump, a traditional water pump, you have to push it up and down and you're pumping the water up. No water is coming out right away. It's taking a long time, a long time. You're trying to get it, trying to get it, no returns, but you're putting in that effort and then all of a sudden the water comes. The water is now flowing and as you pump, the water just keeps flowing. You have been consistent and you are sticking to consistency, continuing to pump as you're getting the reward of that water, that nice refreshing water. But if you stop, even when the water is flowing, if you stop within that consistency, you stop pumping, the water is going to stop flowing. And then you're gonna have to start all over again. You're gonna have to start pumping with no returns again until you get that water flowing. So if you can stick to that consistency, especially once the water is flowing, especially once you're starting to see those results, stick with it while seeing those results and they are just going to amplify it. They're going to compound, hence the compound effect. <laughs> now, obviously building momentum is not easy. That's the whole point of this, especially right when you start out, right? when you start is the absolute hardest. So you have to just keep pushing. But once you reach that momentum, once you build up to that momentum, watch out because you will be practically unstoppable. Once you have that momentum on your side, even though you are putting in considerable less effort, you will be achieving much greater returns because you have that momentum on your side and you're staying consistent. It's not that all of a sudden it becomes easier. It's that you have put in so much time and effort over such a long period of time without those big returns that now those big returns are flooding to you. That is what momentum within the compound effect looks like and everyone can achieve it. So that is my video today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're finding any value out of these videos, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, maybe a comment. I really appreciate you all watching these videos. We only have a couple more left in this series and then I'm excited to get back to more of my regular content. But thank you again so much and I will see you next time. Most importantly, remember to keep smiling. Bye.